on Santana named this morning. He'll go Thursday against Tommy Hansen of the Braves at City Field. Santana has not pitched a big league game since September 2nd of 2010. Had surgery for a torn anterior shoulder capsule shortly afterward. It's Santana's seventh opening day start and Jason Stark his fifth with the Mets. What are your expectations for Santana this year? You know, see, that's a good question. I, I don't know whether I need a, a, a Ouija board or a medical degree <laughs> to try to answer that one. Just remember that the Mets came to spring training expecting that Johan Santana was going to make 25 starts this year. So to think he's going to make 33 seems like it would be a stretch. The other thing to remember, the history of this surgery is shaky. Uh, Chen Ming Wang had the same surgery with the same surgeon and really has never been the same. So we'll have to stay tuned on Johan Santana. He hasn't made a start in the big leagues in 577 days. I think if the Mets got 120 innings out of him, 140 innings, they would be absolutely thrilled because of the layoff that he has. And as Jason said, because of the nature of the shoulder surgery. That's much more of a question mark than elbow surgeries these days. Right. And a source of the Mets told me this spring, if we get 100 to 125 innings out of him, we're really, really going to be happy with that. And yet he's done much better because I don't think anyone went to spring training thinking this guy's going to start opening day. Terry Collins told me, he said, go up and feel his left shoulder. Go feel how big Johan Santana's left shoulder is. That's how much work he's done on it. And yet, it doesn't matter how much work you do on it. It's still a shoulder, and people are still never sure how a shoulder is going to come back, as opposed to, say, an elbow. Yeah, we talk about that on the show all the time. Elbows they can fix. It's not that big a deal. Shoulders are another issue. There's more muscles and things in there. So here's the Mets rotation following Johan. Officially set by manager Terry Collins, it will be knuckleball specialist R.A. Dickey. He'll get the ball Saturday against the Braves. Then in, that's after an off day following the Thursday opener. John Neese sits at number three for the Mets. Then there's Mike Pelfrey, whose spring has been, guys, a disaster. I think the Mets are going to be better than what people expect. That's not a bad rotation. And this is a team that led this division last year in runs scored. Right, and they're going to be a better offensive team because that park is going to play smaller. They've got some healthy guys back, including Ike Davis. They're not going to be historically bad. All right, the idea that the Mets are not going to be terrible is not an April Fool's Day joke.